and Sangeeta Barbara. Welcome to Wednesday's ITV News Meridian. Tonight's headlines in the southeast. Six asylum seekers who say Napier Barracks in Kent is squalid, unsafe and breaches their human rights take their fight to the High Court. The university students demanding to know why they're still learning from them. Good evening to you. Six asylum seekers who were housed at Napier Barracks in Kent took their case to the High Court today, saying the accommodation breached their human rights. Those bringing the case against the Home Office say living conditions at the Folkestone site posed a risk to life and were simply appalling. Well, the Home Office has said that steps have been taken to improve things and the High Court judge has been hearing the submissions. Tony Green is live for us outside Napier Barracks in Folkestone this evening. So Tony, tell us more, first of all, about the people involved in this case. Well, they burnt the shit down for the begin with. Well, Fred, these six claimants, they are all victims of human trafficking or torture or both. None of them can be named for that reason. None of them are actually still here at Napier Barracks. But the case is proceeding because more asylum seekers are being brought here. Since this former army camp opened in September to house asylum seekers, numbers have peaked and dropped. There were 414 here in November. Then, after a major COVID outbreak in January and February, those numbers dwindled to just a couple of dozen. But the High Court in London today was told that another 45 have been brought here on Friday. And lawyers in court are arguing that there's a public interest test to establish whether conditions here are safe and adequate. They say that they're not. They say that conditions here breach the European Convention of Human Rights and even the government's own guidelines on providing accommodation for asylum seekers. And they're actually saying that with its eight foot fences and its barbed wire and its curfew, that Napier Barracks is effectively a prison. And Tony, other organisations are backing this case. Yes, that's right. The Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants and the Human Rights Group Liberty are both making interventions in this case. They say the conditions here are a fundamental breach of human rights. It's a High Court judge that will make that decision, but he's already been told that none of the evidence being put before him today and tomorrow will actually suggest that conditions here are adequate. But Tony, safety is a key concern, especially, of course, in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, that's right. There was a lot of discussion about safety today, particularly around COVID safety. When you look inside the barracks, you will see that there are 14 beds in a dormitory, then that's separated by a bathroom to another 14 bed dormitory, effectively 28 people sharing one bathroom, then or just sheets in between each one of those. That's led to serious COVID concerns. Two of the claimants were so concerned that in fact, they took to sleeping outside. And what they've said is that that's led to mental health issues. Uh, the details of psychiatric reports were read out in court today, detailing some of the background that some of these claimants had already been through before they got to the UK. They say that it's affected their mental health. They've witnessed people self-harming. They've also witnessed people attempting to take their own lives. <coughs> This is very sad. What do the Home Office lawyers say? Well, the Home Office lawyers haven't actually had their turn to say anything in court yet. That will come tomorrow. But they're expected to say that although conditions here aren't suitable for long-term accommodation for asylum seekers, that was never their intention. Tony Green in Folkestone, thank you very much. What a load of yeah. shite! In court.